everybody, welcome to Baseball Isms. This is Joe. Uh, this story actually took place in 1987 over the course of an entire week. Uh, so I'm going to break this up into different uh, segments so that it doesn't become one long, huge post. But uh, I was accompanied by my good friend Frank Pazanis uh, on this adventure and uh, wish he was uh, able to share some of his recollections as well because, to be honest, um, my memory is kind of lacking because of some various reasons that you'll hear. Um, but we were at a Red Sox game uh, in June of 87 and we were sitting there just kind of talking about what would be one of our uh, most fun vacations that we could possibly do and uh, we came up with the idea of doing a, a baseball park trip, um, driving from park to park and just watching games. And uh, we were out of college at the time uh, so we had a little bit of money and a car that we thought could actually make it from town to town. So we decided that uh, that was what we were going to do. So we looked at our schedules and kind of mapped our way, um, starting from uh, our hometown of Boston and stopping in New York City, then on to Philadelphia, out to Cincinnati, back through Pittsburgh, and then back home again. Um, so. We figured out how we were going to make this work and, and lined up our stops along the way. And we also uh, incorporated different people to join us at the various ballparks uh, from town to town um, so that we would have somebody to, to, to see the games with us. Uh, so for our first stop in this adventure, we departed Boston and headed for New York City on June 27th. And on this leg of the trip, we were accompanied by our buddy Chris Doherty and Frank's sister Sue and I think she also had a friend of hers if I remember her name correctly it was Carol uh, so the five of us piled into my little Dodge Turismo which uh, is a pretty small vehicle uh, but that was our, uh, our mode of transportation for that trip and, and those three ended up flying back from New York City when Frank and I took off from there but uh, our good fortune in the scheduling actually had it so that the Red Sox were playing the Yankees uh, at Yankee Stadium that night. So we piled into the upper deck of Yankee Stadium and um, my intention with the whole trip was that I was actually going to score uh, all of the games on the way out there and, and throughout so I have a record of, of each one of these games. Um, Unfortunately, based upon the amount of beer that was consumed throughout the rest of the trip, I only have one game that was scored, and it was that uh, Red Sox-Yankees uh, game. Uh, but I do see, you know, from a historical perspective, that it actually was uh, a pretty good night for the Yankees. Uh, in the first inning, they scored four runs. Uh, Don Mattingly hit a three-run home run. Uh, pitching for the Red Sox was Oil Can Boyd uh, that night and uh, the Yankees went on to a 9-1 to victory there. Um, looking back on it, and I do kind of wish that I had the other games scored, but um, looking at some of the names that are on this, this scorebook here, like uh, for you Yankee fans, a guy named Mike Pagliarulo actually hit a home run that night uh, in the fifth inning. So uh, there's some old names on here, Red Sox fans, Marty Barrett, Ellis Burks, uh, were top of the lineup and of course the uh, infamous Todd Benzinger was the right fielder that night. Um, but it was alright, you know, we had our Red Sox gear on in Yankee Stadium, we weren't harassed too much, but uh, the thing that really comes to mind in the stadium uh, for me is the, uh, the, the steepness of the, of the upper decks there at Yankee Stadium. And uh, I'm talking to you right now after the, the final game has been played there, but um, that is my one recollection is that going up and down the aisles up there in the upper decks and uh, making it out to uh, the, the stops that you have to make when you're watching a ball game, you feel pretty uncomfortable uh, at the steepness of that upper deck. But we stayed in uh, New York City that night at uh, some hotel uh, downtown New York and uh, this was back before they actually sealed off the windows in those hotels uh, and another recollection for me is Big Chris Doherty who you know, was probably a 250 pounder uh, sitting on the windowsill there and actually almost losing his balance with the window wide open and knocking a glass, a, wa a water glass out the window that smashed on the sidewalk below and uh, just that moment in time is etched in my head. Uh, we all crashed, you know, the five of us crashed in one hotel room because, you know, we were college kids and it didn't matter at the time and uh, we just had a great night in New York City, went out and, and went to a couple Irish pubs and 
The next morning got up and they flew back to Boston and Frank and I were on to our next destination which was Philadelphia.